Hello and welcome back to PA Academy. So this is the uh, part 3 which I'm going to be showing you how to draw a dodecagon. So that is a dodecagon. And so this is the third method I'm going to be putting you through. So in the other parts of this video, I've, uh, with the other two parts, I've shown you like uh, other two methods where you can draw a dodecagon, especially when the length of the side is of the side is being given. And I said the dodecagon is a polygon with 12 sides, a 12 sided uh, polygon, 12 sided polygon. So this part 3 is going to be showing you another method to go about it. So if you miss the part 1 and the part 2, I will leave a link to it in the description of this particular video. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on that subscribe button below. It's absolutely free to subscribe to this channel. Also click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get notified when I release any other video. So one great thing about this method I want to show you compared to the other one is that even if the side is not giving, you can go ahead to draw your dodecagon. So this is also method is also applicable if you are asked to just draw a dodecagon without giving the length of any side. Maybe you are not giving the length of the side and you are asked to just draw a dodecagon. So this method will be very much applicable. So to start with, I'll be drawing a circle. So for this now, you can be given um, the radius of the circle or you can just pick any convenient radius for your circle. In addition to this, this method also solves another uh, question that has to do with the dodecagon. That is, if you are asked to inscribe a dodecagon inside a circle. So this method also is applicable to that. So you can see it solves a lot of things at once. So now after you draw your circle, the next thing you have to do is to divide the circle into four equal parts. So first thing in doing that, you are going to draw a diameter. So this is the diameter. So I'll bring in my protractor just to make sure that I have it at 90 degree. So I'll mark the 90 degree points. So now I have something like this. So the next thing I want to do is, okay, let's note this point where it, uh, this lines are touching the circumference of the circle where the diameter is touching the circumference of the circle just note them now you bring in your compass again with the same length you used to draw your circle like you can see the same length i used to draw my circle now you are going to place it on so let me call those points point a b c and then point d so with the same length you place it on point c you are going to draw what something like this you can see the same thing on point B. So we are going to repeat it on all the four points. We are going to draw what we have like this. Then on point A also, we are going to be having something like this. And then on point D. So having done that, you are going to be having what looks like what we are having here. So let me go over it so that it can be bold in case but you have to make it faint anyways just make it faint but i think it's not showing well in well in the video so i have to go over it so that it can be bold all right so i believe you can see it now so what you have to notice to note where what we've just drawn is touching the circumference of the circle at all those points so you are going to note all those points and what we are going to do to all these points is we are going to join them together. So that's the next thing we are going to do. So in doing that, let me start from this place. So you are going to be using a board line. So you connect everything together. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have watched the uh, method one and the method two of drawing a, do a dodecagon and you're watching this method three so i also like you to uh, comment in in this video let me know which of the three methods do you find more easy to do you know which one do you find more easy and more convenient so let me know is it method one method two or method three i would like to know in the comment section below and also tell me why you know let me know why you think method one is more easy why method two or method two or either method three all right, so you just keep joining all those points. So now we have two more to go. Good. 
good. So with that, you are going to be having a dodecagon with twelve sides. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. So you can see we have twelve sides. So this is the third method of drawing a dodecagon. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet subscribed to this channel, please click on subscribe button to subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to leave the link to the other parts of this video. That's the method one and method two. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description of this particular video. I'll also leave a link to on how to draw other regular polygon. Maybe you want to know how to draw a regular pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, onagon, decagon. You know, I'm going to leave those links in the description of this video. So I encourage you to check the description of this video. There are a lot of links I believe will be of help. Even if you want to get some of these engineering and technical drawing tools, you know how to get them. I'm going to be leaving a link that, that will enable you to get some of these tools. So uh, with that, guys, I'll see you all in the next uh, another video. And uh, thank you very much for watching.